Welcome back to another Daily Dose of Greatness Quest. This is Trevor Crane, and today we're going to talk about something about your personal life. Our show is dedicated to helping you take your life and your business to the next level. Yesterday, we talked about a little bit of business and clarifying your message and making sure your message makes a difference. That's more in your professional life, like how to clarify your message so it makes a difference. Today, we're going to talk about the core four four areas of your life that if you focus on them, you can get better in every area of your life, uh, your relationships, your spirituality, your body, your business, your being, and we're going to have some fun today. Cowboy. Welcome to a Daily Dose of Greatness class with your host, Trevor Crane, my daddy. He's going to help you take your life and business to the next level. Here I come to save the day. Trevor Crane here, 11-time number one best-selling author and the founder of Epic Author Publishing, coming to you live every day so you can plug in every day to build your ideal business so you can live your ideal life. If my daddy can do it, then anybody can do it because he's a weirdo. You're supposed to make you sound cool. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Um, I had my sister call me on the phone yesterday. I was um, out and about, and hold on, she called me twice. One, I was exercising, I was running, <laughs> and uh, she just called me out of the blue. My sister lives in Alaska, and we were chatting while I was jogging. And I was jogging, pushing my five month old son. In fact, he's going to turn six months here really quickly. So he's almost six months old. And he was a little fussy in the morning or in the eve afternoon when I went running. And I was pushing him in the stroller because I know that that movement and sometimes I have to sing to him. I know that you don't really want me to sing. You've probably heard me do something like that in the past, and I'm not going to torture you with that today. But my son will fall asleep when I sing to him a little bit silly songs that I make up. I re re, re um, add new words to old songs like happy birthday, <laughs> and I'll make it all about my son Maverick. But my sister and I were talking, and she gave me a compliment, and it was really sweet. She said, I want to... Uh, she goes, I'm really impressed, Trevor, with how you've been so disciplined about exercising every day. And it's really something I wish I did because I'm not in good shape right now. And I've done it for a period of time. You inspired me. And for a little while, I did it. But she's had different injuries. She injure, injured her wrist and her shoulder and her knee and some of this and some of that. And she hasn't stayed consistent with it. And the cool thing is I, I, I accepted the compliment. It's been over 2,000 days that I've exercised every day. But I realized that the discipline I came up with over 2,000 days ago to exercise every day has had a massive impact in my life, and it's, it's improved every area of my life because of the ripple effect, right? When you drop a pond and a river, or, or an, and a, more, more accurately, the lake, like a, you can see the ripples like go all the way to the end of the pond, let's say. And I've seen that in my life, like just me committing to the discipline of, of exercise every day. And, it, and I don't make that just a meaning for my health and vitality. I thought that me making the commitment to exercise every day also made a difference to my family and that it makes a difference for, to my clients and the people that I have the privilege of connecting with and helping. And so that reason behind it, the why, has been much more powerful um, a fuel to help me consistently stick with this. And uh, I, I was talking to my sister and I said, you know what, as much as I accept that, and it's awesome and I, I am proud of myself, I'm doing it right now. And I and honestly, I did not want to be exercising yesterday. <laughs> I was sore and tired and lazy and I didn't want to do it. And it's hot outside, but I did it anyway. I did it even though I didn't want to. And that's what I've been doing for a long time. But I had to acknowledge that there's four areas of my life that I need to focus on every day. And I can't tell you today that I have been uh, meticulous in my commitment to uh, doing this every day. I, I do it some days. I did it. I did. I'm, I'm going to get it done today. I'm partially done with these four things today. I'm going to talk to you about what those co the core four are. And I didn't create this core four. I've mentioned them to you before. If you've listened to some of my podcasts, I've been following a gentleman by the name of Garrett White, who started a movement called Warrior. It's actually called Wake Up Warrior, if you want to look for details. And up until this year, it was for men only. And I've been following Garrett for years, seeing this evolution. In fact, when he started telling me the story initially and I started following him, I was very proud of him. But he was kind of a loud, angry guy. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't necessarily all that into the message. I was like, I was very proud of him. I always loved to see marketing. And I could see this guy was passionate. But it didn't call to me. 
except over the years. I saw this dude with so much consistency start to change his life and others, I finally couldn't ignore it any longer. I couldn't go ahead and just call him loud and obnoxious. And I'm loud and obnoxious, so like I could only handle so much loud and obnoxious <laughs> in my life until I finally was like going to listen to this sucker. And so he's leading me and a group of men, and now he's opening it up to women and helping transform their lives in these four areas of your life. And he calls it a four-dimensional man. Or let's today call it a four-dimensional person. Someone who's not just focused on their business, which is one of the elements of life. That's cool. Not just focus on their body, which is one of the elements of life that I just mentioned. You have had such a phenomenal success with over the last couple of years or 2000 plus days. And not just about his, your being and spirituality and connectedness about your mission and vision for what you have in life, but also one that is connected with a balance with family. And, and your connection with your uh, immediate family, maybe your significant other, and the people you care about most. And these are the four areas, body, being, balance, and business. And I mentioned these briefly to my sister, and I may have mentioned them to you before on a different uh, podcast, like I said, but I was going to give it to you today in like the, the simple things that I'm committed to doing every day so that you can, you can just steal what, uh, what I now know about the core four and you can go ahead and implement them. If you like this formula for yourself, they're very simple. I highly advise though that you get some help. Go check out Wake Up Warrior. Go follow Garrett White. Join the warrior movement. Um, I'm not part of it in any commissionable way in it, in it yet. I think it would be awesome too because I'd, 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 I'd promote and recommend the hell out of this program. But you can also take my advice right now and just implement it. You know, I don't think Garrett White cares if you go ahead and improve your life, <laughs> you know, regardless of whether or not you give him any money or go buy his book. But you should do that, too. OK, so here they are. Body. What he does in these four areas, body being balance of business, and we'll go through it in that order, is he basically has broken each of those into two things you need to do each day. Two things for your body, two things for your business, two things for your being and so forth. So the two things work quite simply for your body. Number one is that you sweat. Sweat every day. Do something. You know, when he goes into more detail with this in his videos and his trainings and the, and, uh, the, the community, there's a lot of accountability here to help us make sure we do this every day. And it's, it's lift something heavy and lift something light. <laughs> you know, like what are you going to do? You're going to do some cardio this day. You're going to go surfing today. Like what's going to be your something to do? Like are you sweating every day? So for me lately, it's been running because it's been a while since I've been running consistently. So I'm just trying to run every day. But it could be any other kind of sweat. Like I just, what am I doing to work up a sweat? It's my fitness each day. Just if I get it done, I check it off. And it's worth half a point. I can get four points a day. Each of these things is like half a point. Half a point for working out every day and half, half a point for doing something about my nutrition. And what he recommends is just a green smoothie, which is pretty cool. You know, I could throw ice cream in a blender with some spinach. <laughs> Not exactly, so, you know, but, but like green stuff, like live green stuff. Just put it in a blender and blend it up. And, you know, it's basically you can take, you include your vitamins and whatnot that you do with that. But you might eat ice cream. You might have bacon. But it doesn't matter about that. He's like, hey, there's a lot of stuff you could change. You probably should change about your diet. But in this case, it's just drink your green smoothie. Did you get it done in the day? And when I get it done, that's half a point. Okay, so that's it. Body done. Chick, 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 chick. Now this is simple shit. I'm not telling you something so magnificently challenging, but here's what happens: is it simple to do? It's also simple not to do. And when you don't do it, guess what you got? You've got obesity, and you've got unhealthiness, and you've got like you're not working out each day. So for me, my exercise is 20 minutes a day. Sometimes I do a lot more. Sometimes it's just stretching, but I do something each day. That's body. So let's get into balance, or excuse me, a uh, business. So business, I love. The business one, like I spend a lot of time there. I don't necessarily even feel like I work when I'm working <laughs> because I typically love what I do, especially when I'm coaching, consulting or creating something. It's like I'm just like I do it for free. I would pay you for the privilege of helping you do it. I mean, I don't <laughs> sometimes maybe, but I just love what I do. But it's about discovery and teaching. So every day I have to learn something and teach something. And that's it. And in the learning scale of this, since there's only a few different parts of business, you have leads, sales, and, mar and, and, and fulfillment. You have leads, sales, and leadership, really. So it's when you learn something. Did you learn something in marketing? Did you learn something in sales? Or did you learn something in leadership? Like marketing, sales, influence, whatever. I got to learn one of those things. And then you don't know it if you can't teach it to someone else. And so right now I'm teaching to you what I learned, and it's part of my curriculum. I learned it. Now I'm teaching it to you. So boom, boom, I can check off both things. 
And I have a daily podcast now to make sure I get this shit done. And I well, might tell you about something about my life, but I typically am trying to tell you about some lesson I just learned in leadership, sales, or marketing. Okay, so that's business. I got to cover that. I, I taught, I, I learned something, and I taught it. Now, now, next thing is uh, is 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 let's do balance. Balance is family. So typically, this and I'm what I do is there's two elements here. One is my significant other. And the other is my extended family, like my, my daughter, my son, my mom, my dad, my sisters, and other people in my life that I might consider my more immediate family or people that are other relationships that I need to nurture. And I put those into two categories, wife and everyone else. So what I'll do is for I basically every day, this is something that I do to contribute to my wife. And I've not been impeccable with this. I'd be lying to you if I, if I did it every single day because I freaking said I would, and then I didn't. And so I got to change that. I, I, I was bragging to my sister how cool that I am that I did it with biz, with uh, my uh, exercise, but not with my wife. And all I got to do is send her a message each day that shares with her something that I love or appreciate about her. That's it. And and it can be a text message. It could be a note that I leave on a sticky tab. I could leave her a long love letter. Uh, I remember Keith Cunningham, who is the rich dad that I keep. OK, uh, have you ever heard of the book? Rich Dad, Poor Dad by uh, Robert Kiyosaki. In that, he has a rich dad. Well, Rich Dad was a combination of three men that Robert Kiyosaki knew in his life. And one of those gentlemen was named Keith Cunningham, who's a pretty successful businessman and trainer and amazing guy. And he shared with me that uh, he, he found out that the love language of his wife, one of the things that she needed and wanted to feel loved and appreciated was an oh baby, <laughs> was a letter. Every day. And he's like, what? Like this was far from his love language or needing to uh, ever get a letter from her in response. But it, that he would reach out and leave her a letter every day. Uh, that was something he loved or appreciated about her. And this in the same context today, we can use Skype. We can use Voxer. We can make a video, whatever. I just leave a quick message for my wife. Might take me 30 seconds, but I get it done every day or I fail and don't get the point. Next thing, family. So or, the, or everybody else, right? So I've done this with my dad. I've done this with my sister. I've done this with my mom. I'll reach out and start a conversation on text. And I'll just say something that I love or appreciate about them. And then I'm done. Two points or two half points. So that's body, being, balance, business, being. We didn't cover being, excuse me. Being is also very simple, not complicated, but I can't just, I, it, this it blows me away. When I first heard about these four things and I really decided that they were important enough for me to do, I thought I'll do them every day. Man, look at me. I'm so cool. I can do, I can exercise every day. I can, I'll do this shit standing on my head. Be no problem. And I started off, whoo, all inspired and getting it done and feeling good about it. Gotten up a little earlier in the morning, nailed this shit, started feeling great about myself. And then I went on vacation and jacked it up. I, I forgot <laughs> and stopped. And then start it back. And then sometimes I do some of it and sometimes I don't do the other. So I'm letting you know that some accountability and some joining the warrior movement, uh, joining a mentor like myself or somebody who can lead you. I mean, I need a mentor to help me stay accountable to this. You might like that too. But being real quickly is simple. It's meditation and journaling. Did you take a time to have a silent moment during your day and just meditate? You know, it could be for two minutes, could be for 20 minutes, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But it's just so to listen, to listen to the voice inside and to your spirit and God and the universe or whatever it is and just take a quiet moment. And, you know, I, I, I have a confession that sometimes I, I call it sleepitation because I will lie down, sit down, get into the lotus position, whatever it is, to kind of take a moment to breathe. And next thing I know, I'm like, whoo, and a little bit in la-la land, and I start to, I mean, if I slow down, I'll sometimes fall asleep. But the thing is, is that I take a moment to just breathe and listen, and then whatever I learn from that silence, from the voice, then I just jot down in my journal. And I have a, an audio journal that I'll keep sometimes, and I have a written journal, and I have one on my phone that I'll just write it into Evernote, but that you wrote it down. And that's it, the core four, body, being, balance, and business. And if you are not focused on any, if you're not focused on these on a regular basis, guess what happens? It gets worse. Look in the mirror. You, if you're fat, then you know why. Why? Because you ate too much and you didn't move enough. And if your business sucks, it's because you weren't educating yourself and you weren't really living it because you weren't teaching it to anybody because you didn't really know it so you didn't implement it and then your business sucks 
Or your relationship sucks because you're not consistently telling the people that you care about most how much you love and appreciate them. And this isn't one where you're asking for anything to receive in return. This is just one where you strictly give. Or you have no sense of purpose and mission because you're not listening to the voice inside of you, to God or the universe to talk through you and say, hey, freaking jackass, listen, go this way. Stop that shit. Start this shit. <laughs> And then your your written word, if you, you know, I remember Tony Robbins told me years ago that if your life is worth living, it's worth capturing, it's worth writing down. And uh, your words become gospel to you. It means one thing when other people say it, it means everything when you say it. And that's core four. That's all I got for you today. I would challenge you to take on the core four every day. And if you like that definition, then uh, my description of them, then go for it. If you want a better one, go check out Garrett White and the Wake Up Warrior Movement and then join us. I think it's freaking awesome. I don't know anybody else in the world who's teaching uh, those four areas to focus on them every day, who is living it every day and is starting a movement that will change the world. I really do think so. I'm proud of the dude. I'm grateful to be part of the movement. And I'm not so freaky deaky about it that like I worship the guy. It's not like I think Tony Robbins is Jesus. And when I met Richard Branson, I wasn't like, oh, my God. And I'm not like this super fan that freaks out. I, I get nervous. <laughs> and I might have, uh, hey, well, how do I talk to Richard Branson or Tony Robbins? Like I get nervous about that shit. But I, what I'm sharing with you is that I am proud to be part of this movement. And so I highly advise that you check it out. Um, and that's it. Try to do the core four every day. You have that discipline, and I think it'll change the quality of your life. These are the four areas I'm very proud to be focused on every day and help you join me and us. And I can't wait to hear about your success. Reach out and give me some love here very soon, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow, another Daily Dose of Greatness Quest. To get even more awesomeness, which means all my best stuff, download my app by texting Trevor to 36260. It will show up right on your cell phone. Just text message the word Trevor to 36260. Talk to you soon.